The screening interview is the first interview that takes place after you have claimed asylum. If you have claimed asylum at the port where you entered the UK, you will usually be interviewed there on the same day by an immigration officer. If you have claimed asylum sometime after entering the UK, you will usually be interviewed at the Home Office Screening Unit in Croydon, near London. The Home Office is the UK Government Department that deals with asylum claims. If you are detained when you claim asylum, your screening interview will probably be conducted in the detention centre. Many people who are detained when they claim asylum are released after the screening interview. Most people do not have a chance to meet with a lawyer before the screening interview, though it is good to try and speak to a lawyer before the interview if possible. Your lawyer will not attend the screening interview with you. The Home Office interviewer will take notes on a screening interview form during the interview. It is very important that you get a copy of this screening interview record. There will be an interpreter provided in the interview if you need one. If there are any problems with the interpreter, you cannot understand them. They cannot understand you. They speak a different dialect. You don't think they are being professional. Or you can tell they aren't interpreting things correctly. It is very important you tell the Home Office interviewer this and ask them to write it down. You can tell your lawyer at a later date if there have been problems in the interview and they will usually write a statement to the Home Office about this. But it is far better to have it noted down at the time of the interview. In the screening interview, you will be asked some basic questions about your name, your date of birth, your nationality, your ethnicity, your religion, your family members, your health, your journey to the UK, why you have come to the UK, why you are claiming asylum, you should only be asked a couple of brief questions as you will be asked about this in much more detail in your later substantive interview. One of the most important questions in your screening interview is likely to be about your journey to the UK. The UK will use this to determine if they are responsible for considering your asylum claim. There will be questions asking whether you have claimed asylum or been granted refugee status in any other country and if you passed through the other countries why you did not apply for asylum there. If the Home Office can prove that you have travelled through another European country on your journey to the UK, they may try to transfer your asylum claim to that country and say that you have to return to that country and have your asylum claim denied. You may hear this referred to as a Dublin Regulations case or a safe third country case. The Home Office usually finds this out by checking if your fingerprints are on a European-wide database and will probably take a scan of your fingerprints at the time of the screening interview. If the Home Office tries to transfer your asylum claim to another European country, it may be possible to challenge it. That may be based on conditions in the country they're trying to transfer you to, strong reasons why you may have to be in the UK, or that the Home Office hasn't followed the correct process. For example, there are deadlines that the Home Office should meet when trying to transfer your claim to another country. Or, if a transfer has been accepted by that country, there are also deadlines by which the UK must remove you to that country. Even if the Home Office do not use your fingerprints or journey information to try and pass responsibility of your asylum claim to another European country, they may use it to try and say that if you are really in danger, you would have claimed asylum in the first place you could. The screening interview is usually quite short but that doesn't mean it isn't important. What you say in the screening interview will be compared to what you say in the big substantive interview later on. As well as with any written statements you give to the Home Office and information about your country. Differences between this information can be used by the Home Office to say that your story isn't true and you aren't a refugee.